Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to present to you a new demo project to manage meals for the kids group, like in kindergarten or school or something like that, which opens the model with the list of all the kids in the group and for each of them you may choose what do they eat, breakfast, lunch or dinner. So you hit the check boxes, submit and this is updated in the database. And it may seem simple on the surface, so like the form with modal, but actually under the hood, there are quite a few things happening with data manipulation and even structuring the form. So the full source of that project will be available for premium members of filamentexamples.com. This is in the list, project number 69 already in the project section. But in this video, I will show you as usual the main parts you need to know so you would understand the logic. So this group resource is actually a table in the group resource of filament and let's try to examine that. So with actions, in addition to edit and delete action, we have our custom action edit meals. With icon, with slide over, which you saw already on the screen, a few more features for modal autofocus and width, and then we have fill form. This is the first part of the custom logic, so you need to fill in the check boxes for kids. Kids is a has many relationship in the group model and we have that inside of the record so record kids we need to load meals and meals are many to many belongs to many in the kids model then we load the meals from the database so breakfast dinner and lunch and then for each kid we perform the eloquent collection laravel collection operation with transforming the kids data to this format so kid id and then meal with another map with keys for meals so it's a multi-dimensional array so this is filling the form now structuring the form is this Again, we have kids and we have meals, and then we build the form for each of the kids. We have array of form components. Each component is a field set, so one kid will be one field set, and inside of that field set will be schema of grid. Grid basically with two columns. On the left, we have kid full name, which is an attribute of eloquent, this one. And then on the right, we have a group group of checkboxes with for each with meals checkboxes and each checkbox will have a structure of kit id dot meal dot id of the meal again pretty complex structure and then the third thing that you need to know is action what happens when it is saved actually the whole form for submitting that model so we have the data from that form and we have the same record and again we do for each of the kids but in this case with eloquent collections we collect the data from the form with this format so again kid id and meal we filter only those check boxes that are checked and then we sync in the belongs to many relationship so basically deleting the old ones and inserting the new values and then notification for success so yeah three things here construct the form with field set and groups then fill the form with collection operations and then save the form data again with other collection operations. Again, if you want the full source with seeds so you can play around with data manipulation and you would see under the hood you can use something like debug bar or DD or something what actually are the values inside of the array or inside of any collection, you can purchase the access to filamentexamples.com which contains now 69 premium projects, the one that you see on the screen a pretty big list which we will update actually when filament 4 is released now tailwind 4 is officially released which was one of the bottlenecks for filament 4 so i would expect filament 4 to be released quite soon ish i'm not sure if they will wait for laravel 12 in spring but from our end our promise is to update all of those to filament 4 or release separate versions with filament 4 when it's released and everything is supported that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos